Hey guys, it's Queen and I'm back with another current household video. I really haven't done one of these in a long time um, and I've been getting so many requests to do one so I'm like, yeah, definitely got to put one out. Um, I'm a little bit cold. I, I have, I'm a little bit cold. I have a little cold and I just kind of woke up so both of those things are just, you know, killing me right now so bear with me. But I told you guys I'd have this video up on Saturday. So, and I didn't record it last night, so I have to record it right now, um, which is Saturday. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, so, this is my current household. We are in, um, let's see if I can do this here. Yes, I can. We are in, where are we? Twin Brook. Twin Brook. Yes. Yes. Twin Brook. Okay. <laughs> um... I don't know why I wanted to say Riverview. Um, I think it's because I went there first, but we're in Twinbrook. Um, the reason I chose Twinbrook is because of all of the other neighborhoods. Um, I, I, first, I chose Riverview. I didn't like the festival location very much. Um, it's just my preference. I like, I like it being outdoors, but considering... You know how much it rains in the winter in the winter how much it snows in the winter and how much it rains in the spring um i think the indoor winter festival is not i mean the indoor festival is not such a bad idea anymore um but uh and then i went to moonlight falls and then for some reason the population controls aren't working so i still get fairies and stuff like that and then i use the cheat to to remove them um, and it just did not last. I don't know what the problem is, but I hope EA fix it really, really soon because I definitely want to just completely depopulate all of my cities with, you know, free of fairies, witches, and werewolves, and vampires. Um, so, yeah. But, um, so I went to Riverview, didn't like that. I went to Moonlight Falls, that didn't work out. And then I went to Sunlit Tides, and I'm like... I would really, really, like, Sunlit Tides, it was just too many layers to that freaking festival. And then, um, so I finally went to Twinbrook, and, uh, I like the Twinbrook Festival. Obviously, it's right, taken right here, taken place right here in, um, and, you know, in their, their town center, center town, central park area. I don't know what it's called, but, uh, this is what the summer festival looks like in, uh, Twinbrook, right here. You know, because it is, Swinbrook did come with ambitions. It has a lot of ambitions objects, such as the trampoline. And then this, uh, I forgot this, what the name of this game was. Something Nook or something, I don't know. Um, I am really sick, guys. <laughs> um, but I told you I'd do this video, so I'm doing this video. I'm a trooper. I'm like that. Okay, so yeah. Uh, this is what the festival looks like. It, it's really, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot, it looks a lot different than the festival in, uh, can we have an extravaganza? I think I'm on the, I think I'm on the wrong sim. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it a lot. Um, I, I love Twinbrook. I love, you know, Twinbrook with seasons. It's, it's gorgeous and all of that good stuff and you have everything you have in Sunset Valley. So, it's a nice, it's a nice, um, it's a nice neighborhood. So if you have only seasons, the, only the season expansion pack, and you don't have Ambitions, Ambitions is one of my favorite expansion packs as well. Um, I highly recommend you guys get Ambitions um, because it comes with a, a new neighborhood with a great um, festival. And plus you get like a ton of more careers. Okay, so back to my current household. This is where my household lives. Right here. Did you guys see where I zoomed? <laughs> right here. This house was pre-made in um in Twinbrook. Uh and as you, first thing you notice, yes, a stray dog um died on my front porch. That happens to me like all the time. I mean, like I, I, I'm starting to think it's some sort of glitch, but I don't know. But seriously, strays die on my front porch like it's nobody's business. Um, also, um, in the front yard, oh God, I cannot do this without the stupid camera being 
weird. In the front yard, this area here, it was filled with shrubs and flowers, and then I removed them and I added a garden. I'm trying to show you the garden with the camera getting all janky. But um, I added a garden because uh, my sim, she has the gardening skill. Um, speaking of the gardening skill, if you guys want me to do a review on the set that came out, I think it was like two weeks ago, um, on the whole gardening thing, the gardening, um, the garden, the community garden law, and then the gardening station thingy, I can totally do that. Just leave, leave, you know, leave, leave a comment in the description or the comments below and, and let me know if you guys want me to do that because I can do it. Um, it'll probably be up. Uh, sometime not this coming week but the week after or I'll put it on my blog I'm not sure but I mean I, I will make a video review on that because it is a really really nice set um definitely one of my favorites all year to come out um as far as premium content goes and that is because my one my favorite skill after the cooking skill is the gardening skill so I definitely will have a lot of use for it the only reason it's not on this slot right now is because there's no room to put it so yeah it kind of sucks um but this is the house here um I put in some trees because this lot didn't have any trees and I wanted leaves so <laughs> I just added some trees now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys about my family Okay, so I have Mindy Quinn, which is the sim that I made in Create a Sim. Um, Ryan Quinn, she married Ryan Quinn. I think her name was Mindy Covington. She married Ryan Quinn, and then they had Oliver Quinn, which is like my old to Oliver Queen. <laughs> um, and then they have a little doggy named Charming, um, because I've been watching Once Upon a Time like crazy. Okay, so uh, again, this is the house they live in, and I'm going to show you guys uh, around in the house here. Start with the downstairs, start with the living room area. Um, in this living room here, mostly, it's mostly seasoned stuff. I think it's almost all seasons, kind of. Um, but yeah, uh, they're poor, so that's why there's no painting on the back wall or anything. <laughs> so some, some of the house is empty, but... Uh, this is the living room here, and again, I used um, a lot of, oh, this is just lovely. I used a lot of uh, Seasons, like all of this is from Seasons and stuff like that. And I, I love, I've been loving cluttering plants together lately. I don't know why, but I think it's, it looks really, really nice, just a bunch of plants just boom in one spot. Uh, they got these from the Easter Egg Hunt in spring. Uh, you guys will see that in my Let's Play. Um, and then here, I've gone through all of the seasons, so, yeah. But, you know, again, every festival is different when it comes to, uh, the neighborhood, so I still haven't seen the Spring Festival in, in, uh, Sunset Valley. Um, but here's some, just the corner over there. I think I'm, I was thinking about filling this space with something, but then I thought I might leave it for the gift-giving party, um, because, you know, it'd be nice to move the furniture around and stuff for the gift-giving party. So I might just leave that empty space there uh, for Christmas time. Or I might just add a Christmas tree or something. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's the living room. The dining room is really, really, really simple. Um, <laughs> I didn't know what to do, so I did this. I just made it purple. I mean, uh, this is from Seasons, the table and chairs and the, the, the decor. The curtains are from Pets, though. So, yeah. Um, onto the kitchen here, uh, you see Mindy Quinn right there, and then you see Ryan Quinn. She's eating her pumpkin pie, and he had hamburger, but he's just putting in the, the dishwasher, I believe. But very, very, very bright blue kitchen. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but I, I love it, though. I kind of love it the way it came out, and then I also like these are... The, um, these are some appliances from Supernatural that I, I adore, too. But this is like a little, it's a really small kitchen, but um, this is the kitchen. Uh, bathroom is simple. I just used, uh, uh, soup. this came from Seasons, this bathtub, this bathtub that I love, love, love this bathtub. Oh my God, I love it. Um, and yeah, just simple bathroom. I mean, once you've seen one, you've seen them all, right? Um, I think this is their, uh, God, I, and this camera is not my friend today. This is their little spring, um, 
a greeting card. <laughs> and I love, they're both wearing Diesel, even though he has seasons, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Supernatural pants, they're still both wearing Diesel. I love the Diesel stuff pack. I, I seriously love it. Um, let's see here. Um, let's show you the master bedroom right here. Um, this is what that looks like. It's, you know, they have a television. I rarely put TVs in my, my, my homes nowadays. I don't know why. I don't do it on purpose. I just, I don't know. My Sims never really watch TV anymore. There's always other stuff to do. You know what I mean? Um, so maybe it's because I don't watch TV either. Um, I watch TV on my computer. Like, I love Hulu. Hulu Plus and Netflix. They are... They've taken over my life, you know. Um, Hulu's Netflix is good for like right now on Netflix. I'm watching Private Practice and I'm catching up on Breaking Bad, which I'm almost caught up on pretty much. Um, and then um, Net Hulu is good for uh, you know shows that are currently coming out. You know what I mean? Um, I do have Hulu Plus, not the regular Hulu, so I get the shows like a couple of hours after after they air. You know. Um, so I've just, I, I don't know. I sit in my bed at three o'clock in the morning crying over Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> so that's like my life. Um, anyways, here's the master bathroom. Um, isn't it cute? It's just adorable. Um, again with that shower because I love that bathtub. <gasps> um, and yeah, that's just what it looks like. Little cute mirror. I think it came with seasons. Really nice bathroom. And then last but not least, we have uh, the kids room. Uh, let me turn on the light here. Uh, and then I'm gonna make sure they're all auto lights too. Okay, um, so this is the kids room. It obviously has this jungle theme. Um, the reason all of my rooms tend to have this jungle theme, actually not all of them, you guys have seen me do a race car theme and other themes before, but I, I usually use the jungle one because it's kind of the only kids set other than regular objects from the base game um that you have so and because university is coming up they, unless they do a stuff pack completely dedicated to to children and teens i don't think <laughs> i don't think that they will um i don't think that they will uh come out with something else um unless it's in the sims 3 store Please, since three store staff, come out with something else. Like, cause I love this set. I do. I'm just a little. I it's so, I use it a lot. You know, I use it too much. So yeah. Um, but this is it. This is just a nice little jungle themed room. Um, I I love that. Um, Supernatural came with the the skin rug, the bear skin, rabbit skin, snakes. And it's not a snake skin. Clearly, clearly not a snake skin rug. But I'm glad that they came out with the skin rug um because it just it follows into this whole jungle theme um so this is what that looks like got the little rocking chair going on and then he has his his rocking horse for when he ages when he ages i'm just gonna put like a single uh bed probably like going this way or something nothing nothing too spectacular i'm not gonna change anything drastically and then they're all they're also gonna have another kid i'm not sure if she's pregnant yet or not um like, I don't know if they got pregnant last night. No, they did not. I don't know. I don't know. But um, this is just another room for another kid uh, that they're going to have. And that is pretty much my house in a nutshell. I can show it to you. This is what it looks like when I'm playing it. <laughs> uh, just like this. And the upstairs looks like this. Yes. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm pretty much just showing you guys what I, and if you don't know, I guess I should have explained this in the beginning of the video. I'm such a dit, but I'm going to blame it on my illness and the fact that I woke up like 30 minutes ago. Um, but if you have, if you've never been to my channel, you, you're like, what in the hell is she doing? I'm just showing you guys my current household. Um, my current household, uh, I can't talk. I can't talk. This is what I play outside of my Sims 3 Let's Plays. Boom. There we go. Yes, this is the game that I'm playing outside of my Let's Plays. And I'm just showing you guys what it looks like so you can get a, a glimpse of what I do outside of my Let's Plays. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to shut up now. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. You all have a super fantastic, awesome, splendid, amazing day. All right, guys. Bye.